into the constitution of Ethiopia in the 20th century. The most sacred belief of Ethiopian Christians is that the, the Ark of the Covenant is housed there at Aksum. It's in a chapel, but no one is allowed into that chapel except a priest who guards it with his life and for his life. Every single church in Ethiopia, and there's more than 20,000 of them, has a replica of the Ark of the Covenant in its Holy of Holies. It's the only country in the world that claims to possess the lost Ark of the Covenant. For everyone else, it's lost. For them, it's not. They, they, they have it. When I was in Ethiopia, I was never allowed inside that sanctuary chapel where the Ark of the Covenant is kept. And indeed, nobody is, not even the empress of Ethiopia. The conclusion I came to was I was not pure enough. But it was enough that I had talked uh, with the guardian. I said, what is the ark? He said, the ark is a thing of fire. And he showed me his eyes. He said, look at my eyes. And I looked. And, and, and covering his eyes were milky cataracts. He said, the ark did this to me. Two years later, he was dead. Another guardian was appointed. I met him, because I continued to revisit this place. Two years after that, he died too. You begin to wonder, what really is in that chapel? Why is it killing these people off? Why is it afflicting them with cataracts over their eyes, rather as was described of the power of the Ark in the Bible? But what about Hitler and the Nazis? Is there any truth to the idea that Hitler tried to find and capture the Ark during World War II? 